What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a quick look at the DX9 Kukinski B version, or the original G2 Dead End. So I've been picking these up recently. I went back and got the older ones. This one just came out. This is actually a new release from DX9. Um, it is a repaint, but what it means to me is DX9 is coming back, right? They're putting out new figures with new paint schemes. Hopefully, they're putting out new MP figures. I'm specifically looking for the Blue Guardian version of their Omega Supreme. That's kind of a dream figure for me to get, but let's take a look at this guy. He's got a really nice paint job, nice glossy black, yellow, darker yellow, and blue on the top. Yellow headlights up here, translucent for the front and the side. Silver for the wheels, rubber tires, rolls really nicely. Translucent for the rear, and then you got the rear spoiler. Here's the bottom. Cleans up pretty nice. It does have opening doors, so you can see inside. There's nothing to see, but you can open them. You can also take the gun, which is painted in this beautiful metallic blue and mount that up here. And overall, it's a nice looking vehicle. And for quick size comparison, there it is next to the original DX9 Kukinski and the Magic Square version of Optimus Prime. And it fits in perfectly with the Masterpiece scale. Nice sized car. And overall, I think this is gonna look really nice with the G2 set. All right, now let's get this guy transformed into his raw mode. Since it is a relatively new figure, even though it's a repaint, I'm gonna get it transformed on camera. So let's get started. We'll go ahead and open up the doors on both sides. We're going to unpeg the two side panels here on the bottom. And it can be a little tricky because they like to spring back in. So pull it out and then pull it back as you do that. And then same here, and then that'll detach. You can slide this upper section back. And we can slide this down and it actually pegs in to the sides here. Go ahead and fold these down just to give yourself some room. I'm going to separate the legs. So go ahead and open this as much as you can. And this part is a little tricky to try to get this past here because it's not a lot of it's not a lot of space. That's about as wide as you can go. Come to the bottom. You can open up this panel right here. And you have to get this piece on the inside past this piece. And it's fine on the second leg, but it's the first one. There really is not a lot of room. So, you know, I found that the best way is to kind of get this underneath and then bring this to the outside. Um, and then we want to open this leg up. Right, and then we're gonna rotate here and close up this little tab right there. And right, once you have that closed, go ahead and rotate this around. So it ends up like this. You can't rotate it the other way, you'll have a little trouble. So make sure you rotate it that direction. Right. This is going to open up. Open up your foot down the bottom. Open up the toe piece here and the tire. You're gonna rotate this 180 degrees. Bring this down and tab it in our back over here. Fold that down. Bring this panel down, that's gonna tab in right here on the side. I'm gonna rotate the leg 180 degrees and straighten up the toe. And that's one leg done. And now the other one's a little bit easier. Now that you have a little more room, you can open this all up. Come to the bottom, open up this panel. And we have a little more room to open this wide. So you can feed this past here, right? And then we can open this up. I'm gonna rotate this around, bring this down. We'll bring this around, bring these two pieces up, rotate them 180 degrees, and then bring this panel down, tab it in, bring this down, Bring this down and tap it in the other side and then bring the wheel down. And then we're gonna rotate the leg so it's on the other side. And I actually had uploaded some pictures of this guy to my Facebook page and I had 
the legs wrong because I didn't have the wheels on the inside. So that's how you want the legs. That's you know accurate to the cartoon. All right. So now we'll take care of the rest. The rest is pretty much easier, but we're going to come to the front here and close down these windows and then just push these doors in. Come to the bottom, we're going to open up this panel right here in the front. You might need a spudger or something to just get in there, but you're going to open up this right here and same on the other side and leave those open for now. Now that'll allow you to take this and open up the, the top piece here, unpeg the arms from each other. And I'm going to take care of this. So open up this front of the car, open up the hood, and we're going to swing the arm around, bring this panel around, and rotate the hand so that this piece ends up inside underneath here. And just make sure that tab works its way into there. And we can close this down. My um, hand folded out already accidentally, but fold the hand out. And this is going to tab into the top. So make sure that tabs into the top of the hand. Rotate this around and then bring this down. So you should end up with the arm like that. Come to the back here and we can lift this up, close this panel down, and then close that in. That's how it should sit on the underneath of the arm. Right? So same on this side. And rotate the waist 180 degrees. And last little bit here, we're going to pull the head out from here. It sometimes is a little tricky, it gets caught in here, but there's a little ridge to catch onto, so pull up on that. All right, and there is Kokinski in his robot mode. And I really like the deco here, this G2 deco. They did a great job. On the head, they've got this metallic blue, purple, metallic purple, and metallic gold for the face. Metallic blue and silver here with a gunmetal there, and then metallic blue for the thighs. They really didn't leave anything unpainted. It's really well done. Here's the back. It is a clean robot overall. For articulation, the head is on a ball, uh, rotating swivel, so it rotates around. It goes up to there, down to there. Very nice looking head sculpt. Shoulders rotate around on this joint, out to there on the side. You can also lift it up on this joint, so you can get it all the way up there that. You have a rotation at the bicep. Double jointed elbow gets you the full bend. Rotation at the wrist, in and out movement at the wrist. The fingers are all on a single pin and the thumb is on its own pin. The pointer finger is separate but it's curled so pretty much no point in that. Your rotation at the waist, ab crunch at the waist. This one actually is nice and tight compared to the loose one we had on Henry so that's nice. You have a hip skirt that moves out of the way, legs go up to there, back to there, up to the side on friction. None of these guys have had any ratchet joints in anything, so all four of the car bots so far have been ratchetless. Andrew band actually, it's a double joint, but just due to the design, you can't get it past. But there's a joint here and a joint here, you just can't utilize it, so you get 90 degrees out of that. You have a toe tilt, not an ankle tilt, forward and backward. And you can push this in if you want. I think it looks better, kind of like right there. But there you go for articulation. As far as accessories, we get the single gun here done in the metallic blue. Really nice. I'm glad they painted this. Not all of them came with painted guns. Henry and Montana had just plain plastic. So I'm, I really appreciate them just taking the time to paint the gun. But very nice looking. Fits in the hand. Tabs in perfectly. And it looks, it looks really good. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the Magic Square Optimus Prime and the original DX9 Kukinski. And you can see they really made a lot of nice improvements here in the paint. This one, for example, is just gray plastic on the head, crotch, thighs, and then white plastic for the chest. This one is basically fully painted in all those areas. So they didn't skimp on the paint. I really like that they just went above on this figure to make it look premium. So I'm happy with that. And there is Kokinski with the rest of the team. And they look really good together as a set. I'm kind of happy 
that I picked this up because as a whole, they look really good. But final thoughts on the DX9 Kukinski G2 version. I really like it. I think it looks great in robot mode and in vehicle mode. I love that they added paint deco. They didn't just take the original and give us a bunch of you know colored plastic. They really went the extra mile to, to give it the paint scheme that makes it look you know kind of premium. I am looking forward to getting Motormaster. We haven't revealed it yet. We haven't seen the paint scheme for it, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna make it just because we have all these guys, you know, it wouldn't make sense. They just put this out. Why not finish the set? So I'm excited to have a G2 Motormaster. I don't have a G2 anything, let alone uh, a combiner. So it'll be fun to see how that turns out. Now, I thought about putting these guys as limbs on the original just to see what they'd look like. But I think I'm going to save that for the combined mode just so you can, you know, tease your uh, appetite for, for that review. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.